there was a palpable sense of excitement from Newark Superintendent Roger Leon as he prepared for the return of students to classrooms in the state's largest school district. It's like almost an awakening, if you will, where everyone is back to almost normal, even though we know that it is not the normal that we left back in March. So it's an actual great uh, moment in time, not only for our teachers, but our students as well. Starting Monday, under strict masking and distancing guidelines, Newark schools will be on a hybrid slash in-person instruction model with kids in classrooms Mondays and Tuesdays or Thursdays and Fridays, with Wednesday reserved for deep cleaning of schools. For Weequake High ninth grade teacher Jawicki Floyd, preparing to get back into the physical routine of getting up and out of the house and going back to school will be her challenge. As for what happens when the virtual becomes the in-person? I'm just going to do what I always do and what I have always done, and that's just love on them. It's just now um, catching those students up to academically and, you know, just providing the necessary skills. And I know I'm not going to be able to just go right into instruction. It's going to almost be like starting in September. Argentina Aquino has three kids in the city schools. Like a lot of parents, including many who themselves are working from home, doing double duty as parent and hall monitor can be a challenge. Internet and online being a blessing and a curse a blessing because we managed to go to virtual learning in such a rapid pace and uh, but occurs because they can't wait to just finish that class so they can go to their online gaming and whatever they so it's kind of like uh, try to to try to manage these two it, it's been a, a very struggle but kids got to be kids, and parents know that the joy of having their youngsters under the same roof is a blessing by and large. But Wilhelmina Holder, who's already put three kids through college in the pre-pandemic days, says that while she loves hearing her grands practicing piano or sharing their artwork with her, she knows they need to be around peers. I know that they miss that socialization piece of being there and, and not all teachers are equal and, and not all students are equal, but the engaging piece is what's missing when you're online. For young people who are just in the process, you and I can handle it a lot better, certainly, but some of them actually need to have that person in front of them or appear aside of them to kind of motivate them and inspire them. But learning loss is real, even in districts that don't face some of the challenges that large urban districts like Newark do. How to make it up is a conundrum parents and teachers and administrators are working on solving right now. It will not be an extension of the school year, but it will be an extended summer, a summer school program. And, um, you know, I, I believe that we'll have plenty of, of staff uh, to handle the situation. They're already preparing that and working out schedules and contacting parents and students who are, are, are demonstrating deficiencies and, uh, and, and need the extra assistance. It won't be a normal school year, but in Newark and other districts around the state, the process of defining the new normal begins on Monday. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.